the filter function XL is an excellent function to help you out just to see the results that you need. So let's say here I have a complete data set with a bunch of rows about the students, the student ID, the class and the final grade. I don't want to see all these results that I have here, all these rows that I have here. However, I just want to see specific data. So like for example, I just want to see the students that have got 5.0 in the final grade. Enter and the filter function is going to show for me just the students that got the final grade in 5, let's say. Or even I can just use more than just one criteria, so I can use here. I just want to see the students get that got 5 and the students that got 5.5, let's say. Enter. And here I can see all the students that have the 5.5 final grade and the 5 in the final grade. So no matter how much conditions that I'm gonna use here, the filter function can match these conditions, this criteria with my data set and then return for me just what I need to see. So let's find out how can you do it in Excel step by step from scratch. Let's go. Before we start to using the filter function here in Excel, we need to use two other functions to help us and to help the filter function to work, okay? So we're gonna use one function within another function. And this is called the nested function. So this is what you're gonna do here in this spreadsheet. So let's take a look here in the data set. I have uh, some, a couple of informations and a bunch of rows and a bunch of columns like for example student name, student ID, class and final grade. I can use any column here to use in the filter function. So I can just use the student name, the student ID, the class, the final grade. However, I'm gonna use the final grade as my condition to, to use the filter function. This is my criteria to match. So let's say here in the final grade, let me just use here uh, the grade Eight, for example, enter. And now I want to use the filter function to just take for me all the results in this data set that uh, met with the final grade eight and return for me all these results. However, before we just use the filter function itself, I need to use another function here called XMatch in Excel. So let me just double click it here. And my lookup value here is my entire column that I have here in the data set. Uh, the column of the final grade. So I go here and select all the values that make up the final grade column. Okay, now we're gonna press comma and my lookup array is gonna be filter spreadsheet. And then I go select the, the range of the final grade. However, instead of just select one cell, I can just select these three first rows here or more rows if you wish, okay? So let me just select these three first rows and now I can just press enter. Now I have this result where every time I get this final grade eight, the X match function returns for me the one as a result. And whenever I just do not have any match with the final grade eight, the function returns for me just a error. If I just enter another value here, let's say I want to know the students that got eight in the final grade and also the, the six, let's press enter. Uh, and a couple of more values is just add here for me, okay? However, let's just continue this formula, this, this function. And besides just using the xmat function, before it, I can use another function to, instead of just using numbers and the zeros that's gonna appear here, I can change it for true or false. And this is what you need to use in the filter function. So just before you built in the function filter, I need to make this xmat function. And even before the xmat function, I need to use another function called isNumber. Let me just double click it. And isNumber, all the value that we have here inside, that is already our xmat function. Let me just close parentheses here and press enter. Now, Instead of just returning the numbers, one, two, three, so on, and the, the arrows that was appearing, now we have just true or false. So whenever it's true, the filter function needs to return the value for us. And whenever it's false, the filter function, it's not gonna return anything. However, the filter function is smart, so it's not gonna leave any blank spots like this. All these false rows right here, it's gonna be hiding, and we are only gonna see where there is actually some values, okay? Where it's true. So now, here, uh, before all these functions that we're building, I can just type it in, 
filter function finally let me just double click it and for the array i will not use these two functions here these two functions here i'm gonna use for the include okay include so i can just here press comma to just make it right already include okay and here in the array I can just select all the columns that I want to got as result here in my data set. So let's say here I want the column student, name, ID, class and final grade because as you guys just saw here I have all these columns here student name, ID, class and final grade. So let me just select everything here. First student name here to the final grade and to the last row. Okay now I can press enter let me select here yes and we're done our filter function is working so whenever i type it in any grade here any final grade so let's say seven enter the filter function is gonna just show me all the informations in the data set that is met with the final grade that i just input here so let's change it for uh, let's say five five and a half and then uh, six enter i mean just seeing all these results that met with the final grade that I just input here. So I hope this function called filter can help you out in Excel to make your reports, to make your analysis. And if you have any questions, just comment down below that I'm gonna help you out. And I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.